today I'll be making one of my 3D or compound scrolling plans. This particular plan set is for a giraffe. Um, it's got two smaller sizes for the scroll saw, one larger one for uh, cutting out on the bandsaw. I'm going to cut it out of a, uh, I have a piece of plum right here, so I'm going to cut it out of that. It's from a tree that died in our backyard a couple years ago. Always there's something a little different wood, I like to try and use it. Seems like it's pretty darn hard, so let's see how that cuts out. So uh, it'll be a little smaller than this one. This one was from a one and a half by one inch piece of wood. Obviously they don't come out quite like this. You have to uh, kind of round things off with a rotary tool or carving knife to uh, get the smooth look. Right. I have the pattern on here. And I'm now cutting it down to size. So once I get it a little thinner like that, it'll be easier to work with. That's uh, the first side, the longer side. I usually do the harder side first, whether it be because it's more complicated or because it's just going to take a lot longer. Um, in this particular case, this wood is really, really hard. So um, I cut it out, but uh, I broke a blade in there doing that. But uh, this other side should go much easier. I'll cut out the interior piece and then cut out the profile. We'll have ourselves a draft. Uh, typically I'll just put tape on the sides, they'll pull everything together. Some people will clamp it to keep everything much more secure. Okay, we got the sides taped up. I use duct tape here, a little stickier than the uh, painter's tape I usually use to put the patterns on. side here. For instance of this one, there was a small knot inside the wood 
that uh, affected one of the back ears. Normally when, when I'm done, if you can see this here, I would leave the horns forward and cut off the ears on the forward side and cut off the horns on the back side, kind of giving the uh, forward back effect with the, uh, with the ears and the horns. But because this one had a knot, I'll probably just take off all the back stuff. Just leave them forward for this particular smaller one here. Okay. Because of the defect in the, uh, the back here, I used uh, part of the block to give it some support and I just cut that off on the scroll saw. Then I cleaned a little bit up with a carving tool, needle file. So still looks alright. I prefer them with the uh, more offset lean back look. 